We have been stuck in a cycle of disaster, respond, recover, repeat. Climate change, ecosystem fragility, disease outbreaks, urbanization, mass displacement, and geopolitical instability all interact with each other, which means that shocks, stresses, and crises reverberate globally. The hyperconnectivity of our world fuels crises even more. And despite all the evidence, prevention is not prioritized. We need to go from risk to resilience. Resilience is the capacity of societies and ecosystems to persist, adapt, or transform in the face of shocks and stresses. Resilience helps reduce disaster impacts. It is not only about resisting change or bouncing back. It's about living with change and continuing to develop. We have identified five attributes that help foster resilience on the ground. Global food production, for example, is becoming increasingly homogeneous, creating conditions for risks to propagate. Investing in diversity, knowledge, and livelihoods provides flexibility and the space for innovations to respond to change. Rather than increased efficiency as the only pathway to success, redundancy works with diversity to ensure that multiple options reinforce each other, thereby creating alternatives in the face of disasters. Balancing connectivity is fundamental for resilience. High levels can promote recovery after a disaster, but can also increase the potential for risk to spread. Inclusivity and equity are important for building trust and supporting collective action in responding to risk and change. Adaptive learning enables us to detect changes, learn from them, and tailor strategies appropriately. This supports better decision-making and governance. Investing in these five attributes help us go from risk to resilience. Learn more at preventionweb.net.